Hey what's up guys in today's video I am going to show you how to connect your Android app with Firebase database from your Android studio. In the previous video uh, I would told you how to connect your Android app manually and in this video I am going to show you how to connect your Android app uh, from your Android studio uh, to the Firebase database. So first of all you have to click on tools and Firebase then a list will appear in the right side of your uh, screen you can see that here is a lot of a lot of options but uh, uh, we need some of them uh, first of all you have to click on authentication and click on email and password authentication and now you can see that here is connect to firebase so first of all you have to connect your android app to firebase click on this button and it will take a little bit of time i have click again on this button then you can see that this is the dialog and now because i want to create a new project in my database uh, i'm i will select create new firebase project but if you are not signing in your android studio it will ask you to sign in and it will take you to your default browser where you have to give your gmail id and password and last at last you have to click on allow button then you will uh, uh, then the android studio will take you in this screen and now i'm going to click on a create new firebase project and you can see that this is my email email from which i am logging into the android studio and uh, i'm go uh, you can change this name but i'm going to uh, name this firebase cubic so which is the name of our company uh, connect to firebase you can see the starting project creation and it will take a little bit time now it is showing determining android clients uh, to create this process also depends on the speed of your internet you can see that uh, it is showing me this notification that firebase project created and connected locally to module app it means that our android app have connected to our firebase database now i am going to uh, uh, connect my real time database uh, to my firebase project so to do this click on the back button and again click on real time database and uh, click on save and retrieve you can see that connect your android app we have already connected our app to firebase and now you have to click on this button add the real time database to your app when you will click uh, you you did not need to read this just click on accept changes it will take a little bit time by add the real time database to your android app you will be able to uh, save your data to firebase servers uh, in the real time it means you, your user did not need to refresh the android app uh, to view the changes in the database the changes will be uh, immediately whenever the database the data in the database will change the your app's data will update it automatically whatsapp is an example of real time database in which you did need in which you did not need to refresh your uh, app but uh, the whatsapp update the data automatically okay you can see that dependency set up correctly it means that our real time database have been connected to our android app and now i'm going to show you where the my project is you have to type firebase firebase and uh, go you can see that this is the firebase official website you have to click on go to console it will take you to your dashboard okay this is not this is my uh, another account and we have uh, created our firebase database inside my uh, this account So you can see that this is uh, our project Firebase Cubic Soul. So our project have been created successfully. You can see. And now click on real time database. And uh, again click on create database. Uh, start in select this slot uh, start in test mode and uh, enable so 
So you can see that your real time database have been set up successfully. Now you can update, delete, insert your data from your Android app, from your Android app inside the Firebase database easily. So if you want to learn about further tutorials about Firebase, I will upload in the future. Make sure to subscribe the channel and finally thanks for watching.